Hi, this is Hilal. In this video, I will try to explain how to solve a general demand and supply function for the equilibrium price and quantity and how to find the total revenue using a simple shortcut method. Let us say we are given an inverse demand function. Let us say our demand is given as our demand is given as P is equal to A minus BQ and our supply function is given as these are the uh, inverse demand and supply functions which are the functions of quantity here let us say p is equal to uh, let us say c plus d q okay where p is the price and q is the quantity demanded and a b c d are the parameters okay we will see how to solve uh, this general function as we know uh, for the equilibrium to be established demand should be equal to supply so in equilibrium we know in in equilibrium demand should be equal to supply okay if this is our demand uh, function this is supply so we will equate these two functions that means a minus bq implies a minus bq should be equal to c plus dq c plus dq it's very easy and you can calculate um, in very uh, short uh, span of um, uh, time the equilibrium price and quantity using this method okay now uh, we will transpose this c on the lhs so this will become a minus c is equal to here we have dq and we will transpose this minus bq on rhs so this will become plus bq uh, this is a minus c is equal to we uh, factor out q here so we are with d plus b now when rearranging we can write it as q is equal to q is equal to a minus c and this uh, d plus uh, uh, b when transposing this will go into the denominator so this will become d plus b so to find the equilibrium quantity uh, we can use this very formula okay now from this we can um, we can find the equilibrium price okay we will put uh, this q is equal to a uh, this very uh, these very uh, parameters uh, in the supply function so put uh, q is equal to this a minus c divided by d plus b in supply function uh, supply function so what will we get so i will write here our supply function is this uh, our equilibrium price will be equal to we have c here c plus d and the value of q which is a minus c divided by d plus b okay now solving this so this is uh, p is equal to c plus this will become d a minus d b d a minus uh, d c sorry divided by uh, d plus b now again solving this giving cross multiplication uh, this uh, will turn out to be this is c times uh, d plus b uh, plus this one into da uh, da minus dc divided by uh, d plus b so again solving this will become cd or i will write here cd uh, plus uh, c times b is cb uh, plus uh, da da minus dc divided by d plus b okay now we have minus uh, dc minus dc here and we have d uh, plus dc here so these two will get cancelled so we are with this 
CB plus DA, so I will write CB plus uh, DA divided by DB. DB. Sorry, this is D plus B. Uh, I will write here, this is D plus B. So our equilibrium price is this. Uh, similarly, we can find the total revenue. Total revenue is simply the price uh, times quantity. Now our uh, price uh, function is this, uh, price value is this. So I will write here, this is uh, C uh, B plus a D A divided by uh, D plus B D plus B times uh, our Q is this A minus C D plus uh, B so I will write A minus C divided by D plus uh, B okay so this comes out to be this comes out to be this is a uh, C B plus a DA uh, times A minus C. Now we have the same denominator. We can write here D plus B whole square. Okay. Now how to use these formulas? So we have to remember this is our equilibrium quantity. This is the equilibrium price. Now if we are given, let us say, we are given a demand function, uh, we are given a demand function which is uh, P is equal to 100 minus 2Q and we are given also the supply function, let us say, uh, P is equal to 10 plus 4Q. If we were told to find the equilibrium price and quantity and also solve for the total revenue, uh, we don't uh, need to equate these two things. At, uh, these uh, demand and supply functions we can just use this formula that is our equilibrium quantity is equal to a minus c d plus b here uh, so i will show with this color this is a b this is uh, this is our c and this is our d just insert the values use uh, the formula that is a minus c divided by uh, b plus d or d plus b so we can see a minus c is 100 minus 10 so 100 minus 10 divided by b plus d so 2 plus 4 so this is 2 plus 4 this comes out to be this is 90 uh, 90 uh, divided by 8 this is 90 divided by 8 which comes out to be 15 so our equilibrium uh, equilibrium quantity is 15 similarly we can use this very formula to find the equilibrium price or rather we can put uh, if we are given uh, q is equal to 15 we just plug this in the supply function so our p will be equal to 10 plus uh, 4 times the value of q is 15 so this comes out to be uh, uh, 15 times 4 is 60 plus 10 is 70 similarly we can uh, find the total revenue which is simply price times quantity so our equilibrium price was 70 uh, times um, times the equilibrium quantity which was 15 so we will get this is uh, this comes out to be so 7 5s are 35 7 ones are 7 8, 9, 10. So this is 1050 rupees or dollars, whatever you say. Okay. So we can just use this very formula in finding the equilibrium price and quantity. We don't need uh, to solve these two very functions if we uh, can use the shortest truth. So this is how we find uh, the, uh, the demand and supply functions. Okay. So I just want to make sure. Um, the graph will look like this this is our demand function it is intercept is a this is supply function its intercept is C okay and our equilibrium this will be our equilibrium price and this will be equilibrium quantity I hope I make myself clear in this video if you like this video please 
सब्सक्राइब शेयर थैंक यू